Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds, otherwise you'll never win a Fortnite game again. So I just finished a massive gifting spree in Fortnite, gifting my subscribers skins from the item shop. Wait, wait, let me be more specific. Five lucky subscribers every single day. That lucky person could be you. So make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below. From there, drop a like, turn notifications on, and leave your Epic Games name in the comment section down below. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all having a great day so far today. We have got a long list of everything coming to season 3 that we know of so far. A lot of items that are currently in the files of the games which leakers have recently decrypted and we've got an idea of some of the stuff items, mechanics that are coming to season 3, a lot of stuff you wouldn't have heard of before on other videos, so you're going to want to watch this one, trust me, there is a ton of stuff, we're going to be covering it all, before we get into it, if you haven't already, drop me a like on today's video, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below, it's free to subscribe, and if you want to support a creator code MattMaxYT in the item shop, or not, you don't have to, it's up to you, but make sure you're using the support creator code, right, buckle in, grab your popcorn, let's get straight into this, so like I said, we're going to be talking about everything that's coming to the new season in Fortnite, Season 3. We're going to start off here with something you've probably already experienced and that is the new swimming mechanic. Now, we obviously first saw this mechanic in the Travis Scott live event in Fortnite where we got to swim under the water pretty much. This kind of gave us a real taste of what Season 3 is going to be like to completely swim fully submerged underwater and underneath the surface. Season 3, as we know, will be dropping early June, June the 4th to be exact, and I cannot wait. On screen here is some gameplay of potentially what the flood might look like in game that I created. With this, you get a quick little glimpse at what Season 3 might be like with houses underwater, how gunfight might play out and what it will be like. So from the leaked posters that we got, you can see it looks like we'll be getting floating POIs, underwater areas and sharks to deal with. So the swimming animation will 100% be used next season. Next up, the return of the beloved vendor machines. Since chapter 2, they have got removed from the game like we haven't seen them whatsoever, even though in some instances, you can glide into a specific region on the map and you can actually see the vendor machines actually spawn in game. Now, they've actually been in the files of the game for quite a long time. They still spawn into some games, but you can't even access them. So, more than likely for season three, we're going to see the return of vendor machines. If you guys don't know what the vendor machines were or you weren't around in Fortnite when they were in game, pretty much you traded materials and supplies in return for some items. It might be a jump pad, a gold scar, you name it. There's a variety of different vendor machines, including epic and legendary rarity vendor machines. They were awesome and it looks like we're going to be seeing a return of these coming to season 3. Now something next up that got decrypted very recently that is a new missile launcher. Now there is actually an unreleased RPG in the files of the game that is set to release with season 3. It's actually got the code name Misty Bot. Now this launcher will be able to lock onto vehicles such as helicopters, boats and maybe even the upcoming rideable sharks in game. We've even got tasks that come along with this RPG. One of them is to destroy a chopper with the missile battery. Now if this is the actual name for the RPG known as a missile battery, by the sound of it, it sounds like it's going to be a mounted turret sort of thing that are going to be placed around the map where you can go up to it and where you can shoot RPG rockets out of it. Rather than an RPG that we have in game ready, which we actually have mobility with and we can take around with us and walk with, this one, it sounds like it's going to be a mounted missile station on the map. And we've actually got some game audio of what this will sound like with the weapon in action. Listen to this. Yeah, sounds pretty menacing. Now, the next thing that's been found in the files of the game, which have recently been decrypted by some leakers, is something with the name of a chug stand. Something we've been missing in Chapter 2 of Fortnite is the addition of extra ways to get shield. We were so used to, like, chug splashes, slurps, chug jugs in Chapter 1. Chapter 2, we've only got 50 pots and minis. And we haven't seen anything else other than that. So the idea of a chug stand, I guess, is like a lemonade stand, which you go up to, there'll be locations around the map, which pretty much dispense chugs, I guess. Like the upgrade stations we've got on the map now, maybe we might be able to trade materials for chugs or chug splashes. We'll have to see. It could even be a stall with 
a range of types of shield healing. Either way, I think Epic needs to add this in for Season 3, and it's in the files of the game. Fingers crossed they bring it in. Now, next up, a secret weapon, the Charged Shotgun. Something we've spoken about before here on the channel and can actually be found in Fortnite as of right now on the map. It can actually be seen as an ornament alongside other weapons that we actually have in game literally as of right now. You can see here in Sky's Battle Pass room in the headquarters, just on the wall over there, you can see um, it's just sitting there on the wall, a shotgun that we haven't seen in Fortnite, along with the new SMG which we actually have in game already, which you can get off of henchmen or henchmen's cases. So it looks like a charged shotgun might be making its way into Fortnite here in Season 3. Now next up, a tornado grenade, yes? You heard that right, a tornado grenade. Now this actually sounds amazing. With obviously season three just on the horizon here with the map being flooded, a water tornado to put enemies off sounds amazing. We don't have much information on the grenade as of right now, but I mean, we've seen weird and wacky stuff in the game before like bottle rockets, missile strikes, junk rifts, a tornado grenade doesn't even seem that far-fetched. I assume it will work in the same manner as like a junk rift, but instead throw everyone out of their builds and just create a big mess. Imagine the tornado grenade picks up enemies and just throws them around. How cool would that be? The thing is, with the new physics engine that we have in game right now, a ton is possible that wasn't able before. Next up, hoverboards could be making a return. With the introduction of Season 7, we saw hoverboards make their way into the game. Obviously, with the new snow biome, it was an easy way of mobility to get around the map, and we were used to some awesome trick shots on them as well. Now, of course, fast forward here to Chapter 2, and they got removed, pretty much like everything else in the game. But with the map being flooded for Season 3, imagine the hoverboards coming back but as surfboards. They're currently in the files of the game, and if added into Season 3, surfboards, imagine how sick that would be for everyone. I can just picture it right now, it would be crazy. Now, another weapon that's been in the files of the game for some time that we've actually seen in Fortnite before is the Zapatron. There's actually only one clip on YouTube of this in action, and in Season 1 of Fortnite, it was put into the game for literally an hour. There's only one clip on YouTube of someone actually getting a kill with it. Pretty much, it was an electrical sniper rifle. It was super over overpowered but awesome at the same time it's in the files of the game could we see it make a return for season three we'll have to wait and see now next up some removal of some guns in fortnite now this isn't leaks or anything like that but mythical weapons in fortnite are they here to stay we've got the drum gun we've got the mini gun we've got the bow we've got the mythical scar the plunger there's some awesome weapons right but will they be here for season three but after the doomsday event i guess we're gonna have to wait and see whether these shadow and ghost points of interest actually stay on the map we're just going to have to wait and see. Because if they disappear from the map, so do the mythical weapons. Now, a new thing coming to Season 3 that we actually got leaked not too long ago, actually, was the new glider customization. Obviously, with Season 2, it was the first time we were able to fully customize a skin with Maya. There was like 3.8 million different variations of customizations you could do to this skin, and it was crazy. This time around for Season 3, because it went down so well, it looks like we're going to be able to customize a glider in Season 3. Pretty much personalize it to whatever we want pretty much like the Maya skin I think this is going to be awesome and something I'm definitely looking forward to when season 3 approaches now the last thing I want to talk about here is the infected zombies leaked LTM game mode now this was put into the game everything about it was set up and ready to go there was a fog variation of the map that we got right now pretty much it's like infected off of Call of Duty there's one zombie at the beginning it infects people if you get caught and then you turn into a zombie you then go and kill until there's one survivor pretty much whoever Whoever can last out the zombie stampede the longest pretty much wins. Now with the zombies there was double jumping, super speed, stuff like that. Well it's actually as of recently been removed from the game completely. It was all set up ready to go as a leaked LTM game mode but uh, yeah some sad news it's been taken away from the files of the game. Another scrapped idea from Fortnite that I guess we'll never see in game. Maybe in a future date. But for Season 3, it doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. Now, that's going to wrap up everything to do with today's video. All the leaked items that are supposedly coming into Season 3. Hoping, fingers crossed, the majority of these are making their way into the game. They're obviously already in the files of the game. It's just whether or not they press the button to actually put them into the game or not. Some awesome stuff here. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on today's video. And let me know in the comment section down below. What was the one thing in this list that um, you want to see back the most? 
let me know. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.